Dah live dah, dah live. Dah ke? Oh. Okay. Those of you who have come in search of answers, seeking inspiration and looking to achieve your aspiration, this is the place where you will learn to find the answers where you will be motivated to discover your inspiration, where you will be propelled to realize your aspirations. With today's global challenges, the role of the engineer, the scientist and the technologist is transformed from being the technical innovator into being the agent of global change. Our world-class resources and faculties, our cutting-edge facilities, our global partnerships with leading universities, our strong network with industry for internships and job placements. Our worldwide research collaboration These are the inspirations and the opportunities at UTP. Here, we nurture the analytical skills and intellectual capabilities of all who walk the UTP path. Here we culture the ethics and the attitudes that will shine in the real world. Here we expose ourselves to what it truly means to be human, to be a valuable part of society, to be the empowered people the game changers who will light up the path towards a better world and change lives for the better. At UTP, the torch is firmly in your hands. So hold it up high and let us together light it and let it burn bright. Join us to seek inspir your aspiration towards global prominence. Assalamualaikum and a very good evening. Thank you so much, everyone, for being with us virtually via CFS live channel. My name is Johanna Abu Bakar and I am your host for tonight. Today, we are going to introduce to you a new program, a collaboration between UTP and German Malaysian Institute on Foundation Studies Program. We are going to learn more and getting to know what the GMI UTP Foundation program is about. So to help me finish you with more information on this particular topic, I have with me tonight two academic members from Center of Foundation Studies, UTP, who are instrumental in materializing this initiative. We have uh, Tuan Haji Azman Zayuddin and Ms. Jasmine Hassan. All right, um, 
before we get to know uh, the program, uh, I just want to remind those of you who wants to ask questions, you may do so by dropping your question at the comment section and our team will pick it up and we'll try to address it throughout uh, the session. All right. So now uh, let us first get to know our guest uh, for tonight. Um, uh, maybe uh, Tuan Haji Azwan, maybe you would like to introduce yourself first and then later uh, Miss Jasmine will introduce herself. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, uh, welcome to the to this uh, live FB uh, session. Uh, my name is Azman Zainuddin. I'm one of the program leaders of the Center for Foundation Studies in University Technology Petronas. Okay, I'm. Uh, I have a background in. Uh, mechanical engineering. I am one of the lecturers uh, in at the center, and uh, uh, I'm teaching physics uh, at foundation. Okay. Thank you, Suhana. Thank you. Um, maybe. Yeah. Um, thank you, Aji. Uh, Miss Jasmine, maybe you would like to introduce yourself first. Suhana. Okay. Assalamualaikum and good evening everyone. My name is uh, Jasmine Hassan and I am one of the program leaders for CFS as well. I'm the program leader for Foundation Humanities. Uh, so I have several subjects that will be under my purview including English, Islamic and Moral Studies as well as Thinking Skills. Uh, I myself teach English at Center for Foundation Studies, University Technology Patronas. Thank you, so Thank you, Ms. Jasmine. Okay, now, since we have about uh, only until 10, so I will not delay any further. Let us get to know what is the program all about. Okay, Adi, if you don't mind, I will start with you first. Okay, uh, can you please uh, briefly on the program offered and the GMI UTP Foundation Studies Program? What is it about? Can you um, tell us uh, about the program? Okay, the uh, the UTP GMI, UTP and GMI uh, are collaborating to uh, establish the uh, foundation program at uh, to be run at GMI campus, and uh, this is an extension of the. Uh, the foundation program at UTP. Okay, we, we yeah, are. And GMI uh, is in Padang, right, Aji? Yeah. Yes. Uh, GMI campus is in is in uh, Bangi near Kajang, and okay. uh, we we are uh, we are providing more options for the students to uh, uh, to go when uh, to to uh, take up foundation program. So it is more convenient to those in the Klang Valley to mm -hmm. uh, to study uh, near to their hometowns. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So instead of coming to UTP, they can uh, opt for having it uh, having to do their foundation uh, near Klang Valley, Valley area, yeah. Yes, because because some some students or some parents might have might have some reservations in in sending the students to uh, far from their hometown to to Perak. Uh, not many not many people many people still uh, don't really know where is Sri Iskandar in Perak, yeah. where we have the main <laughs> campus, main UTP yes. campus. So. All right. uh, it gives some some uh, some options for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay. well, the 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 program itself, Aj, is it uh, conceived of? Uh, is it the same uh, foundation program being offered in UTP, or it's it's different? Is it yes, the it same? Is, it, uh, the programs are exactly the same because mm -hmm. we have. Uh, we have got the approval from the MQA, Malaysian Qualification Agency. They, yeah. uh, they, they uh, give the approval for UTP to conduct the program uh, mm. and, uh, at GMI. 
and we have uh, already got the uh, accreditation for our program in mm. our main campus in Sri Iskandar in 2018 and mm -hmm. uh, we have we have we also need to get uh, approval for the same program to be run at GMI campus and uh, the 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 syllabus is exactly the same same courses mm -hmm. Uh, only the 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 lecturers will be uh, will will be run by GMI lecturers at, at the GMI facilities. Mm. Okay. okay. So there will be no uh, worries or concern for that, yeah, G. It's, it's the yeah. same, kan? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, it's exactly the same. And um and how how many semesters is that? How many semesters to complete uh, okay. the whole foundation program? Okay, the duration for to complete the foundation program is one year, and it is divided mm -hmm. into three semesters. Mm -hmm. uh, the the students have to uh, have to do uh, have to complete fifty credits. Uh, made up of courses like uh, physics, chemistry, uh, uh, thinking skills, English, and, mm -hmm. uh, and programming. And uh, these are exactly the same that uh, we use the same, uh, the same syllabus as in uh, UTP. And mm -hmm. uh, we have, uh, that is the requirement from the MQA that mm -hmm. we uh, use the same syllabus uh, at GMI. Okay. Thank you, Aji. Um, okay. Ms. Jasmine, I, if I can uh, ask you uh, the next question. Um, okay, sure. What, in, in, in your opinion, so what, what do you think makes this uh, particular collaboration unique? What, what do you think? Why, why is it unique? Well, first of all, it is the first time uh, Foundation Studies in UTP have ever done this. And it's a, so it's, how do I say this? It's kind of new for us, but at the same time, we are very confident mm -hmm. with our foundation program to be able to offer it in an institution like GMI. Uh, I think it will, it's unique in terms of that the students will get to experience the best of both worlds. You know, they get to do foundation in the Klang Valley and they will get to experience the facilities GMI have to offer. And later they will proceed to UTP where they will get a different experience, but still under the same, with the same quality of um, and standards of education. So I think that's what would make this unique make, as opposed make this Particular collaboration uh, unique, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hold on. Um, and um, I'm sure uh, many uh, parents out there, um, or even even the students itself themselves, would like to know. Um, being uh, whether GMI or whether whether UTP. Uh, will be helping them, especially in this particular scenario where um, economic is a bit of a challenge for many fam families. So whether they will be receiving any kind or form of financial assistance from, well, let it be from us or from 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 GMI. Well, is there any possibility or is there any kind of uh, financial assistance uh, available? for this particular program? Well, it's very new. So at the moment, I can't really say how uh, GMI on the GMI side will provide financial assistance during the foundation program itself. But uh, once the students enter UTP, mm -hmm. uh, they will get the same, um, they will be exposed to the same uh, financial assistance and benefits that our own students have access to. 
So for example, we have Yayasan UTP, we have Tazu Tabung Amanah Zakat UTP, uh, among others, as well as of course the private companies that also are known to assist our students with um, financial assistance. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, in our comment section, we also have um, representatives from Registrar. So they are more versed with, um, sorry, from the Registry Department, they are more versed with um, financial support and aid. So maybe uh, if you would like to know more, I think they can help with providing more uh, information later. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, anything? Anything you want to add, Aji, on this, uh, Tuan Aji? If uh, you okay, I, I just want to add that the uh, the the one year foundation at okay. GMI uh, okay. by, by completing that that program, you will be uh, the students can can continue their studies in uh, in several programs in UTP in engineering, okay. uh, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering, petroleum engineering, civil engineering, and computer engineering, and material engineering. Okay, there, there are many branches of engineering here, and, and chemical engineering. Uh, and also uh, in applied physics, applied chemistry, and petroleum geoscience. Those are the courses that uh, will accept the students that have completed foundation at uh, GMI. So which means yeah. there, there is no, um, why do I say this? There is, uh, a, once they have completed foundation in GMI, they can just choose any form of uh, engineering courses offered in UTP. Is that correct, Ajit? Yes, they can. Uh, if they, they, they have to, uh, to, to qualify for the, uh, for the place in UTP, they need to score a CGPA of 2.0 at, at the end of foundation. Uh, mm, okay. And uh, that, that, is, uh, uh, that is an advantage because uh, for, for people from other places, we require a higher qualification higher CGPA points to get a place in UTP at undergraduate level. Okay, which means uh, they need to finish 50 credit hours, correct? Yes. And a CGPA yes. of 2.0 and above. Yes, the same, as, only the, same as the students in UTP. Students yes. that do foundation in UTP, same, same conditions. Okay, so uh, it's the same requirement, it's the same uh, kind of point before you, the students will be able to join the undergraduates, eh? Yes. Okay, and, and, and you mentioned briefly, Tadi Ajay, about uh, the courses uh, that is being offered. If you don't mind, um, is, there, is there all mentioned, the courses you have mentioned, Sumoka, or there are any other uh, courses that you have not mentioned that the, the students uh, will be... Uh, during the foundation program. Okay, the uh, the the courses I, I did mention uh, the the there there will be uh, physics, chemistry, uh, mathematics, and uh, thinking skills, English, programming, and Islamic or moral studies. So okay. those are the courses that uh, students have to take. And okay. they are, they are, uh, and they have to, they have to uh, pass all those courses to get the to, to qualify to, to get the credits. Okay. okay. And, and co curriculum, And co curriculum, yes. Forgot about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then uh, I, I have been told. Okay, for for us in 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 UTP, we have this uh, community. Pro project or programs uh, under the Islamic studies, right? We call it down to earth. And then, is it is it is it going to be the same uh, for those who will be doing uh, foundation in JMI? Uh, is it going to be this? Miss Jasmine, maybe you can uh, answer that. Uh, basically, as uh, they are doing the same things as us, so we are providing them with the syllabus and we yeah. are giving them the assignment guides as well. So by right, yes, Down to Earth will also be conducted 
at GMI. At the moment, unfortunately, due to the current pandemic, we have to conduct our down-to-earth activities online. So I think um, that's, that's a blessing in disguise somehow. So it wouldn't shock the students in GMI maybe uh, to start with, firstly, a CSR project online first before actually going into a bigger um, event later because DTE um, can consume uh, students' time as well, but it's very good for uh, for them uh, to practice the values that we are teaching in classes as well. Mm, okay. So I guess uh, DTE plays a very important uh, element. Yeah, uh, in this. In this thing that some feels. Okay. Okay, um, let me see what, um, okay, uh, Ms. Jasmine. Yes. We, you said that the, you, you mentioned earlier that this, these students will be able to enjoy both worlds, uh, mm -hmm. being in GMI and later continue their, their, found, uh, their undergraduate in UTP. Mm -hmm. Now, will they, uh, while they're doing uh, their, their foundation uh, in GMI, will mm -hmm. they still uh, be experienced, the same student experience as the one, uh, as the, the current students doing foundation in UTP? Or are they uh, going to uh, have the same experience or it's going to be slightly different? Or And how, how, how do you ensure that this student experience is the same? You know, like, like if, if, if how how do you ensure that the ones in GMI have the same experience as the one I'm currently um, doing? Okay, um, I hope I can get answer this the best I can. Of course, we can't guarantee a hundred percent the same experience because obviously they are doing uh, doing the program at different places so of course they will be slightly different ones in a bigger city the other one is um <laughs> smaller town you know to put it nicely a quaint but cute little town so yeah <laughs> the, the experience of growing up might be a little bit different but we're hoping that the study experience will be the same as yeah. uh, like i said earlier they will be uh, exposed to the same syllabus the same assignments the same tasks um but the only difference is they'll be enjoying two different facilities. Uh, the students, while doing their foundation with the GMI UTP uh, foundation program, they will be staying in GMI. So they will be experiencing the campus life in GMI. Now, uh, I'm although we have been to GMI twice, I'm not sure exactly what kind of experiences, but I'm sure they will have the same clubs and societies that, um, that are active there. And later on, when they go into UTP, they will have this, the experiences our students have. So when we talk about student experience, I think our GMI UTP um, students later, foundation students will really have a wider view of how, uh, I guess, life would be in college, because <laughs> they get to experience college in KL, college in Toronto. Uh, mm -hmm. Is um, oh, and on top of that, we're trying to expose the students who do opt for the GMI UTP Foundation to come to UTP. Um, we're not sure if the pandemic would allow it at the moment, but we do have plans and we are working with the uh, CSD. Uh, what is that? Um, CSD Center for Student Development mm -hmm. uh, Department to. Oh, sorry, Center for Student Development to um, allow the GMI UTP students to also have a sense of belonging to UTP. Right from the beginning, we want them to feel we'll like have, they are one of us. Yeah. Yes, they're one of us. Uh, that 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 could be of um, interesting or rather interesting uh, process to yes, ensure that, so. right? To ensure that. Because you want to instill that kind of um, sense of belonging from the beginning. Yes. And then being uh, at GMI, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Okay. Because 
because our foundation students, they are not separate from the undergraduates. They have the same facilities, they share the same libraries, they share the same cafes, and even sometimes the same uh, hostels as well, the same blocks uh, and sporting facilities and everything that UT has to offer. Lah. The classes are the same. You know, some, some universities and colleges, they separate the foundation departments with the undergraduates. So they experience different settings altogether. But in UTP, we want them to be integrated, that we want them to feel like everyone's one big family. So we want the GMI students later to also feel this, the same. We don't want them to feel like, um, you know, anak tiri, like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they are one of us. They're part of the family as well. Okay. That, right. that's that's good to know at least at least the students will not have that in mind thinking that uh later when they do join utp that they will be treated differently or they will feel that uh they will feel that um you know i i've not been here from the beginning i feel left out so they will not be having that kind of uh, feeling yeah okay. we aim for that Okay, <laughs> inshallah. Okay, inshallah. Um, um, what what kind of uh fleet is that? Uh, you mentioned about uh the facilities that they can they that they can enjoy, right? If mm -hmm. you can share what kind of facilities, uh, whether the the accommodation, ke sporting, ke, what kind of facilities that the student will be able to enjoy? Where, um. If you know in GMI, do I think you know? GMI will uh, provide accommodation for all foundation students. Uh, okay, so they will have accommodation there. We've mm -hmm. been to the campus; it's very nice, uh, um, and it's not far from a lot of public transportations as well as uh, Kajang and Bangi. Okay. So I think, um, and I think as like all colleges, they have um, internet, which is I think is no longer a luxury, should be a necessity these days. Um, they also have sports, uh, sport, sports facilities, the same labs, and so on. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you, Ms. Jasmine. Mm -hmm. uh, is there, uh, before that, yeah, let's, let's have a look at, uh, are there any, at the comment section, whether there are any questions that we have not uh, addressed? Can we can can we just quickly have a look at that? Uh, oh, thank you, Miss Jessie. So nice to know that. Uh, oh, okay, there we have. May so I know, may the, I know the cost for this program? <laughs> okay. Who, who would like to answer oh, that? <laughs> okay, so I do. <laughs> The cost of the program is the same as in as the cost at uh, the students at UTP base is about uh, 19,000 plus, 19,000 ringgit plus for uh, local students. That is for, for one year, one year of studies at foundation. 19,000 plus. Uh, uh, and that's it. That is, yeah, that, that is uh, including accommod including accommodation mm -hmm. and uh, fees for facilities. And mm -hmm. as you know, at, at this uh, at this time, the when the students many students are studying at home right now, so there are a few. Uh, uh, it might be less than that. Okay, mm -hmm. slightly less. Okay. For the for the total fees. All right. Thank you, Aji. Yeah. Thank you, Aji. Yeah. Okay. What is the minimum CGPA for foundation student to pursue their degree in UTP? Mm. We, I, I think I have mentioned that before. Yeah, it's 2.0. Yeah, we have mentioned that, right? Yeah. With 2.0, uh, with uh, they need to finish or com um, complete the 50 credit hours, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you for the question. Any more questions that we can, uh, can address? Uh, okay. uh, this one, thank you so much. And the program lesson. 
So, um, just to add to Miss, uh, thank you, thank you, uh, Miss uh, Jessie's uh, statement there. Just for your information, uh, as long as you get the two point oh, I think Tuan Hazim also mentioned this. Uh, you will get one of our uh, engineering programs right automatically. You don't have to reapply. Um, as long as you get the two point zero in foundation, you go straight into. Uh, undergraduate studies. Uh, I think that is a very important point, Ms. Jasmine, to, to, to highlight and to stress on because they might think later that there will be a separate kind of uh, uh, application. One finished and then another another round of application. That is a very uh, interesting, that is a very important uh, information that you have given us. Thank you. I don't have to fight for a placement anymore. It's secure. As long as they do their part. Yeah. Minimum uh, 2.0 and 50 credit hours, uh, you, you're, you're good to go. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Any more questions? Uh, will the students get a chance to come to UTP if I enroll myself in this program at GMI? Yes. Right. Yes, I think, yes, I think uh, CSD, the Center for Student Development, mm -hmm. has make uh, they are planning uh, they are making arrangement for mm -hmm. uh, the students at GMI, foundation students at GMI, to come to UTP at uh, at certain point in time during the semester. And so they can, yeah, they can look at, look at the facilities and uh, at, at UTP campus, main campus. And correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not mistaken, once they get their student card, their student card can be used in UTP at least for some facilities like library and a few others if I'm not mistaken. I, but we will get confirmation on that. So, you know, they're like I said, they are one of us. Already, already part. Which we are already one UTPians. Uh, which means that the UTP, I mean, sorry, the 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 big the student card itself, uh, they can use uh, at at UTP, yeah, the the facilities. Okay. Okay. What what are the engineering fields that they can pursue? Okay. The the engineering, uh, there are many branches of engineering that uh, at undergraduate level, uh, the students have to make a choice at the beginning of foundation okay at uh, uh, the there the are many choice uh, the most popular is chemical engineering followed by mechanical engineering the others mm. are petroleum engineering uh, civil engineering uh, material and computer engineering and electrical and electronics engineering okay the, the uh, did i miss any any more no. Okay. So those are the branches of engineering. Engineering uh, at that that is uh, that is implemented at, at undergraduate level. So oh. when they make the choice at the start of foundation, uh, they might not be uh, students might might not be able. Uh, they might want to change. As they do foundation, as they get more information, they know what what are uh, their interests, and mm. uh, the well, the they are looking at the job prospect. They get more information about the job prospect in certain area of engineering. They can change by the end of the uh, foundation year. They can change to uh, to other other branches, other programs. So yeah, so you're, which means uh, as you go along doing a foundation and you you see that your your interests change and you are you are able to do that, right? You're you're not. Uh, it does not necessarily mean that if you choose chemical, you start with chemical until the end, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So. All right, and another. Um, oh, I thought that's another. Uh, also, uh, also there, there is another thing I want to add. Uh, for the yeah. foundation students at UTP and yeah. also will be at GMI, they will. Uh, they are many students, 
students club in each of the engineering field. So they they might uh, they might conduct uh, briefings to foundation students, telling them what is uh, what does uh, material engineering uh, is about. The, even, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, even the lecturers might come along and and uh, give some information. Okay, uh, that is to the yeah. students at foundation. Ah, that is interesting to know. Thank you. Okay. Uh, any difference between foundation and UTP with this program? Uh, I think we mentioned this several times already. Uh, no difference in terms of the syllabus. And most of the student experiences will be similar. The only difference is the location. Assignments, everything yeah. will be the same. And uh, if you're worried about assessments, UTP will be providing the assessments. So the quality of the questions will be exactly the same yeah. as, as what you will get in UTP. Ms. Jasmine, I, maybe it's the, it's the manpower and the facilities and the location yeah, will be mm -hmm. in GMI, yeah. correct? Yeah. Other than that, okay. everything else remains the same, right? Yeah. Okay. Correct. Uh, about... Uh, may I add about the teaching manpower also at at GMI? They are they are uh, not at at lower level compared to UTP because they have also experience in conducting A level mm. programs and uh, programs for students going to Germany. So yeah. they have uh, they they have uh, uh, a lot of experience in teaching students. Yeah for pre-university programs. So, uh, so there's no worry there about the, the manpower. True, and the uh, is also because internationally, they are internationally recognized pre-university uh, providers. Okay. Um, else? Um, oh, <laughs> so many questions. Do you accept international students? We do. Okay. And okay, but, uh, okay, but GMI at the moment, the, yeah. Uh, G GMI, I think GMI has mentioned that they they accept international students, although yes. the the current situation is not is not uh, conducive in uh, the, uh, many. Uh, students from many countries are not allowed in Malaysia at the moment. So, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the, the program is open for and international based students. And our experience with international students during this time of COVID, uh, because everything is online at the moment, our, our international students do not feel are not left out. They can still attend classes, although maybe the time difference might make it a little bit difficult for them, but we do have international students coming in during COVID, and I think it shouldn't be a problem for GMI to also uh, get international students. Mm. Okay. All right. Um, Yes, uh, after the student graduated from this foundation program, can they use the result to apply for other universities? Actually, I wanted to ask you this question, Aji, but since uh, they already okay. asked, so maybe you want to um, answer our, uh, our question here, whether okay, they will, can I'll... use uh, the, 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 the result to, to uh, apply from other places. Is it possible? Okay, the... Yes, yes, it's possible. But uh, you see, the content of the the program, the syllabus for foundation has been uh, has been vetted through, has been reviewed by uh, by uh, it's it's for the uh, for students to continue at undergraduate level, and they they have been reviewed by by mostly lecturers in UTP and also from. Uh, from other universities, the, we have uh, expert panel workshop where we call up uh, lecturers from other universities and also from the industries to to review our syllabus, and they uh, and and that is part of the accreditation. The accreditation by MQA require us to do that, and so our the 
the our program is acceptable uh, for other universities also because we have we have uh, quite a number of students also they have uh, because of some reasons they want to pursue uh, uh, studies at other universities okay in uh, university of malaya uh, in upm and, and ipts and also uh, private private universities okay so they should not be they shouldn't worry lah i can say that yeah they can uh, if yes. they decided that this one they it, it's it's uh, recognized the 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 apa tu uh, the foundation program is being recognized okay now can diploma student from jmi further okay now from can diploma student from jmi further their study with this program for their degree Hmm. Not this program because this is foundation. If you have a diploma, you would be, you would qualify to do. Uh, I think if you you have a diploma, you can straight away go for the undergraduate, undergraduate. program. Yeah, under OQ, other qualifications. Yeah, because it falls under other qualifications to go to undergraduate, right? Because yeah. currently the ones that we have in GMR is only solely for foundation program, correct? No. Yes, yeah, yeah. but we are um, furthering the studies in UDP. We are doing their degrees. Yeah. Okay. Most are from there, the. There are, there, are, there are many graduates from GMI that have uh, uh, okay. continue their studies in UDP. They go straight mm. to uh, first year or second year. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Okay, in GMI, my department is mechanical engineering. So, can I transfer my credit hour to make shorter the studies duration in foundation? So, this is about credit transfer, right? I think this is the same. Mm -hmm. In mechanical engineering, are you doing diploma? Because if you are doing diploma, you can go straight into our undergraduate program and maybe you can check which subjects are. Uh, eligible for credit transfer with the mechanical engineering department. If your hygiene was from mechanical engineering department, maybe you can add on? Uh, uh, that is if you have the diploma. If you are, you haven't finished that diploma uh, that diploma program, uh, you, cannot, you cannot transfer the credit to foundation. Uh, we don't have a mechanism for that. You have to start from uh, from the beginning. If you don't have the diploma, if you have a diploma, you can go straight to undergrad, undergraduate level. Kalau si ada tak puan. Okay. Uh, for for the foundation program at GMI, uh, I think GMI uh, that. Uh, that will be under the jurisdiction of GMI. They have their own uh, financial assistance uh, scheme. Uh, maybe from, uh, from the, I, I heard that uh, there are a lot of schemes offered by the Zakat in Selangor. So they might facilitate uh, for the for you to to get those kind of assistance uh, regarding zakat i got information from uh from gmi if i'm not mistaken that is the one of uh, assistance financial assistance but they do have others as well mm. but later if you are interested in, uh, for degree like i said earlier maybe you didn't join us just now um uh UTP have several other financial assistance that could help you as well as mm -hmm. private companies yeah we do have uh, a dedicated um, department to assist our students uh, in that matter okay uh do do GMI offer aerospace engineering <laughs> okay uh, we are we are not from GMI so <laughs> Uh, I cannot really answer that question. It's just that uh, at UTP, we, 
at UTP we don't we don't offer aerospace engineering. Actually, most most universities they don't offer aerospace engineering uh, at degree level because uh, is uh, there's something to do with the with the job prospect. It's very it's a very specific field of engineering. Normally, people will do that at master's level uh, because it is specialized. So at degree level, it is good for you to have a, a broad, a broad base uh, discipline, so yeah. that uh, yeah. you have uh, you have less problem in in looking for jobs. That's the that's uh, the experience of many graduates nowadays. Okay, okay. so uh, especially at foundation, it will be at very it is very basic level. Uh, there are some aerospace aspect uh, you learn in physics, okay, but not at not aerospace engineering. Okay, all right. And then um, I think uh, our representative from GMI has also answered that GMI didn't offer any aerospace engineering. So yeah. Okay, um, any more questions? Uh, <laughs> do students uh, need to learn German language in this program? <laughs> uh, okay, even though you're doing it at the German Malaysian Institute, the German language is not part of our foundation <laughs> syllabus. However, German language is offered in GMI and maybe you can check out uh, courses if it's available if you want to learn the German language we're not going to force you to learn German <laughs> but it's a good skill to have especially in engineering <laughs> who knows maybe you would like to you know for the you know, even work in Germany yeah who knows right but, yeah who knows but we're not grading you for German language lah. <laughs> All right um uh, besides engineering stream, what uh, are the courses that this pro program offers? Uh, is it just engineering stream or uh, there's, there's technology as well or uh, computer science or what is it? Is it just engineering stream? Okay, okay let me answer that. Uh, we also, uh, for the U GMI UTP Foundation program, we offer uh, the, the program is for students who wants to do engineering courses and also apply uh, some science courses like applied physics applied chemistry and petroleum petroleum geoscience okay that is what is under the gmi utp foundation program but in utp we have other courses like uh, information systems information technology and business management and computer science, okay. So uh, those are the courses that we that is not under the UTP uh, GMI UTP program, but that is okay. those those courses in UTP only. Okay. So um, those who wants to do uh, under the GMI UTP Foundation Studies program, they are only doing engineering stream. However, uh, in foundation in UTP itself, uh, there uh, besides engineering, they can have technology and computer science. Is that correct, Ajay? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. Um, any more questions? Uh, let me see. Um, Thank you, Puan Sarwani. So we have questions <laughs> 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 You only need to learn German if you are applying for the German University Preparatory Program. Which is an excellent program and is very famous. And DMI is very experienced in uh, uh, teaching, providing as well. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> What else? Uh, and is there any more question? Okay. Okay. Yes. 
So, okay, for, uh, can I can I add something about aerospace engineering just now? Uh, for yeah, those who are interested to do, <laughs> for those who want to do aerospace engineering, there are many. Uh, normally, students would do mechanical engineering or electrical engineering, electrical and electronics engineering, before they go for aerospace engineering, because there are mm. lots of foundation, a lot of uh, basic knowledge in those those branches that will be used in <clears throat> in uh, aerospace engineering so th those those uh, mechanical electrical electronics they can do uh, the foundation program first okay before they do the the uh, those uh, mechanical and electrical and after that only they can go to they can continue in aerospace engineering mm, okay. okay yeah thank you aj um we have another 10 last 10 minutes. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna um, drill you guys a bit. <laughs> no, I just wanna ask, I mean, um, both of you, uh, what would you say to all future candidates of JMI UTP Foundation? I mean, like, uh, how, how would you tell, I mean, how would you tell our future candidate, come and join us? I mean, uh, what will you say to that? I mean, okay, who wants to start first? Aji or Ms. Jasmine? Okay, uh, uh, let me see. Let me say first. Okay, uh, about the for for uh, for school leavers who want to pursue their studies at this moment, as you know, the the pandemic is is still. Uh, rampant in, in, in Malaysia and in the world. So they, unfortunately for you, the, the, it makes, uh, it causes uh, difficulty in, uh, in, in that, that you cannot go straight to campus. You have to study online first. So uh, don't let that be an obstacle for you to pursue your, your uh, what you want to be. So if you want to become an engineer, uh, don't let that be uh, the, the situation now because it's it affecting everybody in the world. So uh, you, uh, even though the classes, most of the classes are now online, okay, that will be just uh, temporary, okay, and uh, you ha you need to uh, you have to continue. You have to continue your your journey to learn to learn uh, in your journey to become uh, an engineer or scientist okay so that's this is very, this program is a start for you that's a very good advice Aji. yeah because that that could be a, a form of demotivation for the students um, not being able to be with friends not being able to study in classes right i mean like uh, that that can be a form of motivation, but not not letting that be uh, dampen your spirit to study. It's okay; it's gonna be just temporary. But we will we will soon be able to meet again and study in classes and in the university in a university environment, right? Thank you, Adi. Yeah. Okay. Miss Jasmine, well, what do uh, you think? Well, um, this is your last chance to join the class of 2020 because in um, GMI is going to start in November. I think if I'm not mistaken, by uh, in a few weeks, a week or two actually, less than that, um, the GMI UTP Foundation program is about to start. So please join us, especially for those who have uh, delayed their intentions to further their studies, maybe because of the pandemic, maybe because of other factors. You might not be sure what you want to do, but hopefully now you've made up your mind. It's not too late. You can still join the class of 2020 by joining the November uh, semester at GMI. Yes, yes. Um, thank you, Ms. Jasmine. Uh, yes, for those who are interested to join, um, we have... Uh, the uh, link, uh, uh, the link below, uh, GMI link that you can 
go and visit to learn more on, on this particular program. And with through that link as well, you will be able to apply for this uh, current uh, program. It starts soon, like as Miss Jasmine said, that it, the program is starting soon, but you are still uh, not too late to uh, apply for this particular program, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. Um, I think, uh, thank you. Sorry, uh, any last words from the two of you? Or oh, that is this last word? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any last word? Any last? Because uh, we are going to uh, put up the video after this. But before that, because we have about one more minute. There's no questions, right? I don't see any more questions coming. Oh, I would like to say thank you, Prof. Yeah. Asmi, for supporting us as well with our efforts today. <laughs> I hope we've done justice to JMI. <laughs> okay, you thank you. Thank you to Prof. Azmi and also uh, others, Puan Salwani and yes, uh, Puan Sohana and Puan Jasmine. And for, the uh, GMI again. <laughs> yeah. And okay. yeah. Uh, so this is, uh, hold on, this is the, this is the link. And then, like I said, and like everyone else is saying that GMI is starting, the GMI UTP program is in November, it's soon. So please, please, please take this opportunity to apply because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity that is beneficial for you. Because, um, like, like, like Miss Jasmine said, if you have the best of GMI and you have the best of UTP as well, so do not um, delay this this uh, action. Apply now, and and I hope to see you in GMI and uh, also soon in, and in UTP once you have um, completed your foundation studies in GMI, right? Um, okay. With that, Aji, thank you so much. Okay. Ms. Thank Jasmine, you. thank you so much uh, for sharing with us in details regarding this program. And uh, once again, I am encouraging you guys to please apply and uh, through this uh, link. We hope, uh, I really, really, really hope to see you guys uh, in Jemai. So uh, stay safe and have a pleasant yeah. evening. We're going we're gonna to have okay. a video showing uh, more about the, the, the Apatu Center of Foundation Studies. I think okay, further questions you. will be answered. Uh, uh, yeah, I like question. I think we have one, but I think we will answer that in the comment section. Ah, okay. Yeah. Is there any? Uh, yeah. But we will. Uh, if you have comments, we will uh, address it uh, at, at at the comment section. All right. Okay. Good night. Okay. Thank Good you. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.